but before we start the video um, I have this book right here and I put 10 reminders in here because I like to uh, before I start every video I, I try my best to to remind people about these 10 reminders that I wrote down myself because I think that there's sins that we uh, commit uh, not once in a blue moon but um, ordinarily there's there, there's certain things that we do throughout the day that we, we have to we should we should stop so the I'm gonna read them to you right now okay so number one hold on for a second guys I'm just gonna go get my glasses Okay, so number one, never ever shout to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will disgrace you and humble you. Number two, never get interest money, interest or usury, which is, rib, uh, which is riba. Number three, never do adulteration, which is zina. Number four, avoid conversations of fitna, which is uh, backbiting. Um, slandering, mistreating people. Um, there's more things too, but I couldn't think of any other. Um, number five, never mistreat your parents. Number six, never mistreat your kids. Number seven, only halal. Number eight, admit your faults. Number nine, women cover your adornments. Number ten, Never look at women's adornments. Okay, so those are the 10 reminders. I, I like to rem remind people uh, before each video um, of things that we do ordinarily because um, if we want to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we must avoid the major sins. The major sins is what uh, clogs up our heart. The major sins is uh, what turns us away from uh, like ibadah and tisbih and salat and zakat. Uh, the major sins keep us um, keep us stuck. You know what I mean. But um, also also the the minor sins. If if you got a lot of minor sins, they can act like major sins too. But my point is, if we have a lot of major sins, uh, they. They clog our hearts from uh, reaching out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But, but yeah, like I said, these 10 reminders are, are reminders that we, most of us do uh, once in a not once in a while, uh, meant to say, like ordinarily. So that's why I wanted to remind people. Um, so inshallah, tabarakallah, we could adhere to the uh, sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The preordained rules but um, but anyways let's actually before I start the video what I wanted to mention was the, the devil he hates she hates two things he hates um, number one um, start now I'm forgetting what, what I was supposed to say is it clarity no, no, no. Number one, constant reminders. That's number one. He hates constant reminders. And number two, he hates clarity. So if the reminders are constant, boom, 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 boom. You keep on reminding somebody, maybe it's your friend. And plus, they're clear. Clear to the point where the person understands that whatever he's doing is haram. So for instance, um, riba is haram no matter what. Because it says in the Quran that if uh, if you if you have, uh, what does it say? It says if you achieve not achieve like uh, if you've consumed riba, no matter any any kind of riba, if you have consumed riba, you must you must 
get rid of it right away. But um, most people don't know this. Uh, most people think, uh, some people think you, if it's a house, um, it's uh, accepted, it's halal, it's like, it's like pork. You can eat pork, Muslims can eat pork, only on one condition. The condition is if you're about to die. If you're about to die, pork is halal. M most people know that, but the, the point is, it's sort of like that. Some people think you can, you can deal with riba, you can deal with riba, but... Um, has to be for a house for your family but I know this is haram the best thing to do is suffer for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala please Allah rent you're, you're, you're gonna lose a lot of money trust me uh, everybody knows that you're gonna lose a lot of money but you're gonna gain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you're gonna gain the barakah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and plus Allah is gonna give you some time, something 10 times better trust me guys if you're interested in getting a house which consists of riba. I, 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 I remind you to, uh, to refrain from this sort of uh, haram. This is, this, is very, this is a very evil act. Like, it's very evil to deal with haram. It's not a, a minor sin. Riba is not minor. It's, it's major. Uh, so avoid this. Don't, don't even touch riba. Inshallah, tabarakallah. You, you obviously have to rent. But inshallah, tabarakallah, rent for a little while. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala... When, when Allah's wa'at, when Allah's time is ready, He'll give you something ten times better than what you have consumed through riba. Inshallah, tabarakallah, inshallah, tabarakallah. So yeah, guys, that, those are the ten reminders. Um, and um, yeah, inshallah, tabarakallah, we will uh, adhere to these ten reminders and more people can... Um, more people can mention them at the beginning of each video. So then more reminders, uh, the harder it is for the shaitan to... Uh, whisper to us to kind of, um, you know, influence us to uh, do something haram. Inshallah, tabarakallah. This is uh, what I would really. This is what I would really love to see. Is to see people uh, stop dealing with riba because uh, uh, we don't have a, a healthier, clean, uh, moral society that way. Scruples, scruples too. Morals and scruples. Inshallah, tabarakallah. Okay, Allah. Let's begin the video. So take off my glasses. So yeah guys